Today we are making a video on Kubuntu 23.10 Mantic Manator. So this is the daily build or the pre-release version of a 23.10 Mantic Manator. So here is the boot menu. So let's quickly live boot it by clicking on try or install a Kubuntu. It's going to boot it in a live boot and I am running it as a virtualization which is a VMware with the 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and the two processors with it. So this is a daily build so it's just for the education purpose uh, only if you want to test it you can test it in the uh, VMware or virtual box uh, don't try it in the main PC or a work PC because it's still in a development version it's going to ruin your PC so that's the reason I'm warning you I don't want you to ruin your PC so I'll be posting like a two videos daily I already posted a content in the YouTube if you want to check that out uh, you can check that out after watching this video so it's going to take a few seconds or maybe a minute because it's still in a development version. Uh, usually a Linux distro will take like a maximum of a 1 minute or minimum of a 30 to 40 seconds to load up the desktop layout. But it's still in a daily build or the development version or the pre-release whatever you call it. Uh, it should be taking a few seconds more uh, because you already know it's in a work in progress ISO file. So. But it automatically or it took just a few seconds even it's in a development version it loaded up quickly as you can see here that's a shocking news so let's quickly change the resolution uh, you will be having like a two options to boot it in uh, like a live boot and the installation it's always a good idea uh, to live boot first whether it's a stable version or the development version beta version whatever it's uh, the linux distro is it's always a good option if you have a live boot always run it in the live boot first like a two to three hours after you're satisfied without any bugs uh, go with the installation afterwards so i'm choosing the english as a language and i choose the live boot first because the live boot always saves your pc if any bugs uh, or the errors occurred you can delete the iso file and delete the everything uh, and you should be running it on a VMware so it will be uh, safe to use it in a virtualization like a virtual box or the VMware so it has a KDE desktop environment if you don't know about the Kubuntu that's the default desktop environment of the Kubuntu and we should be having the latest version of a, a KDE Plasma and the 23.10 Mantic Minotaur will be same like the Lunar Lobster because it was released like a uh, I think like 15-20 days ago so almost everything should be same and uh, we should be seeing some of the changes in the coming days so let's quickly change the display resolution my monitor is 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio let's click it I'm making this uh, the video just for the sake of uh, education purpose uh, because as I already uh, promised in my channel that uh, I'll be posting the uh, latest Linux releases or the latest Linux uh, newses as soon as the ISO file is released whether it's a pre-release development version whatever the ISO file is uh, released as soon as the ISO file is uh, released from the Linux distro or the website I'm going to make a video on it or the content on it so here is the content so let's first change the resolution I already changed if you can't see the icon size or the text size properly in your monitor you can change the global scale up to 150% with a 1920 into 1080 you should be good only if you have a 1920 into 1080 resolution you should change like a 150% and you should be seeing properly and the icon size and the text size will be bold bold not bold sorry for that and let's check the about system which is kubuntu 23.10 and this is the official website and you don't find it in the official website because it's a daily build so it has the latest version of a KDE Plasma which is a 5.27.4 KDE Frameworks version is a 5.104.0 The latest version of a KDE Frameworks is a 105 5.105 So the KDE uh, KUT version is a 5.15.8 And the kernel version is a 6.20-21 And the latest kernel released uh, like a few days back like 8-9 days And the latest version is a 6.3 and the graphics platform is x11 and this is my these are my cpu hardware information if you want to go through this you can go to it 
let me open the system monitor first and see how much of resources are consuming right now by, by using it like a few seconds or a few minutes it sure it is looking like a stable version uh, but it's still a development version uh, always try it in a live boot and uh, try it in the virtualization like a virtual box or a vmware whatever you choose or if you want to try it uh, or install it you can do it in the uh, a pc which you don't usually use don't try to install it or use it on the main pc or a work pc because it may ruin your pc so i don't want you to ruin your pc so the ram consumption of a 4 gb of ram is 1.1 gb I forgot to mention that I am uh, running it as a virtualization and uh, I don't think I forgot I am uh, already mentioned but I am going to do it again. I am using a 4 GB of RAM for my virtual machine which is a VMware and 80 GB of hard disk and with two processors. So these are all the resources consuming right now. Applications, resources here. So let's go to the applications. These are all the applications on the history. Uh, and you, you can see the graph is going pretty stable there should be a high peak here and there but uh, that's not a big problem as you can see it's uh, quite common in every linux distro to see a high peak or a high graph uh, here and there it's not constantly but uh, it's occasionally like two like here the ram is almost 1 gb 1.1 gb and uh, ignore the network because you don't need to worry about the network so these are all the process running right now so i'm going to open the system monitor again at the end of the video so you should be uh, getting an exact numbers of uh, how much resources of uh, uh, this linux distro is consuming and it's clearly up to you to judge this linux distro to use it or not as you can see it's based on ubuntu mantic miniature development branch the code name of 23.10 is a mantic miniature so that's the latest news i'm giving you so let's open the uh, console which is a terminal for the kde plasma desktop environment or the kubuntu so let's check out the version about the console it is uh, 22.12.3 let's maximize and let's type in the command which is uh, inxi-sv8 which will grab the complete distro information right in front of you and we don't have inxi installed so let's first install the inxi and uh, type in the command again it says unable to locate package inxi maybe you need to update all the things so let's uh, try to forget about that and uh, check the some of the information like a kernel version and other command which is cat etc forum slash issue so it says ubuntu mantic miniature so stop should be even not available even if you try to or copy the command or try to install it it's uh, not available unable to locate packages you need to update i guess i don't want to do that because it's still in a development version so let's uh, go to the installation style and you still don't have the new installer like the ubuntu 23.04 lunar lobster even the uh, other uh, versions of the other flavors of the 23.10 like Ubuntu, Lubuntu, you don't even have the new installer still. They are still using the old version, I don't know why. The new installer is pretty fast and good. So you don't even have the uh, in the 23.04 uh, how you expect in the 23.10. So I'm going to use this old installer like that. First you need to choose the language, click on continue. It's taking a few seconds here keyboard layout i'm choosing both the english united states you can choose your language here or the keyboard layout there and under the updates and other software you will be having like a two options normal installation and the minimal installation under normal installation you get complete uh, applications everything and in the minimal installation you just get the web browser and some basic utilities like a text editor and uh, some of the calculator like that it's just the basic things so it's always a good option go with the normal installation if you uh, if you want the minimal installation you don't need to download this kubuntu you can just uh, download some of the lightweight linux distro so that's the tip or the opinion from me 
so under the other options you will be having like a download updates while installing kubuntu this saves time after installation you need to check this option because it's going to help it after the installation like a third party software wi-fi like all those things if you don't want you can uncheck this and you can do that later uh, it's clearly up to you you can do that on your own afterwards so click on continue it's going to take a few seconds and it's going to prepare the ubuntu drivers all that things but uh, in this video it took just a few seconds and the installation type you need to be very careful while choosing this uh, because it's going to delete everything so be careful and you need to have some idea and information of what you're doing here so first you need to choose your hard disk or the installation destination or the ssd whatever it is so if you want to delete the current operating system delete everything in the hard disk or ssd or the installation destination uh, you need to choose the guided use entire disk or if you want to choose other partitions uh, which you already created you can go with the manual partition and it will give you the option like a dual operating system so it, it that's the uh, meaning of this thing so these are other options like a guided use entire disk and set encrypted if you want to encrypt your system you can provide the password in the both the boxes which should be same and you should be having an encryption for this uh, installation so after this if you need to you need to click on the install now it's going to give you the time zone user information is like a username password you don't need to provide your username actual username and for the password sake you need to provide the strong password and write it down the password because uh, if you forget it will be helpful uh, in the future so that's the user info and after installation you will be seeing some of the summary of what you choose in the previous steps and uh, you should be seeing of uh, what will happen after clicking on install so after uh, installation process will take up to like a maximum of uh, 20 minutes or minimum of uh, 5 to 10 minutes it completely depends on your system and the linux distro so after the installation it's going to say finish and reboot your system and you should be having your kubuntu 23.10 uh, completely installed on your uh, hard disk ssd whatever you choose so it will be like a single boot or a dual boot whatever you choose so i'm going to warn you again it's a development version if you want to test it you can test it on the uh, unused pc or the vmware virtual machine whatever virtual box like that don't use it on the uh, main pc or work pc because if there is, if they have like a bugs or errors it's going to ruin your pc i don't want you to ruin your pc that's the reason i'm warning you again and again so that's the installation style or the installation method so let's check out the pre-installed apps which comes with the uh, 23.10 it's again same uh, as the all the previous version there is nothing uh, different because almost every app uh, which comes is here uh, with the desktop environment which is KDE Plasma uh, Kubuntu doesn't provide any uh, applications here so let's open the Dolphin file manager let me quickly open some of the applications and check the version there like a K text editor I already made a videos on the 23.04 Luna Lobster if you want to check that out you can check that out by typing the 23.04 in my channel which in the search bar like that in the YouTube search bar not the complete YouTube search term you need to ch search in my channel uh, there will be like a magnifier glass in my channel and you can find it there just type the 23.04 and uh, I made all the flavors uh, video or the content you should be seeing almost everything there I made the beta version stable version all the version there so if you want to check that out you can check that out in my channel so let's quickly open some of the important apps and uh, open the system monitor and end the video like a package manager move on package manager what else we still left is here like a Elisa media player we don't really need the Elsa media player but uh, I accidentally clicked it so no problem and uh, let's check out the Thunderbird mail also that's it so let's check all the versions which is uh, same as the Lunar Lobster which was available in the Lunar Lobster that's the same version and you, you still have the 102.10 which is same as the Lunar Lobster version again Luna Lobster was released like uh, 15 days back so the almost everything will be same 
so as soon as the beta version released i will be making a video on that too so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe you should be getting that content as soon as the beta version is released and i will be posting the even the stable version so it's always a good option to subscribe so these are all the installed uh, packages uh, in this uh, kubuntu 23.10 so if you want to slow it down you can slow it down in the youtube settings the playback speed uh, the default uh, number will be like 1.0 change it to 0.25 you should be seeing the in the slow motion so i think that's it for the video let's open the system monitor and end the video here so in the beginning of the video it was like a 1.1 gb right now it's a 1.3 gb it's pretty stable for me uh, i don't know how it works for you so in this video it was pretty stable uh, maybe it should be having bugs in you uh, after you download i don't know properly because it's uh, still in development version we don't uh, exactly say what will happen so for me it's working properly so these are all the complete uh, resources uh, of uh, kubuntu so that's the end of the video let me end the video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out i already made another video so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video peace out